I think I've never actually gained as much muscle slash weight on a compound. <laughs> everybody it's that white boy from the yard back at it again with another video and today we are going to talk about my s23 experiment finally i know it's been a while i should have been doing this a whole lot of time before you know but all right so s23 on a bulk without a test base first i'm not a doctor don't have any form of medical degrees whatsoever i don't pretend to be a doctor don't listen to what i say this is all my personal opinion how i see things what it would do to my body I always go to a doctor before using any form of supplementations all right so s23 without a test base on a bulk all right, so this is something a lot of people think it's weird and because it's weird I really wanted to do it and try it for myself because S23 is a compound that shuts you down completely or at least really fast since it's uh, designed to be a male uh, anti-conceptive uh, pill you know so I knew if I would, would go high in dosages let's say 20 30 maybe even 40 milligrams I would get suppressed really fast and I would have no gains from that point. I would have estrogen crashes or whatever. And that's definitely stuff we didn't want. So why would I want to do this? Because um, like I said, I was planning on doing a bulk. You know, I've never been the biggest dude around. Uh, I always wanted to pack on a little bit more size. I always kept really lean and vascular. You know, that was kind of me, my thing. I just want to pack on a little bit more muscle before I cut down again. But I didn't want to get fat in the meanwhile. I just want to get huge. It's all right if I gain a little bit of fat, but not too drastical because I was eating every three hours. So six, seven meals a day, but like uh, 100 grams of carbs each meal, 40, 45 grams of protein. So big ass meals, six to seven times a day. And I have to, or, or I won't gain weight at all. But the problem is if I do it like this, and if you calculate it, it could be around uh, 5,000 calories, maybe even 5,500, something like that. But I wanted to keep it a little bit more lean, you know, a little bit more veins because I know if I bulk too much, my veins, they disappear and I kind of hate it. You know, it's good that you get bigger, but I miss the leanness. This is always a mind game, you know. A... So the plan was doing the bulk. So that was my diet. That was on point. I was doing that before the S23 experiment, like uh, two to three weeks, something like that. Since it is like an experiment, I wanted to do it for four to five weeks, something like that, because usually at week six, if you would get suppressed, which is highly uh, common, uh, then we get suppressed around week six, seven, eight. Person dependent, you know, I've seen on my own body that with LGD or something like that, I could easily run it without a test base, but around week seven or week eight, I'm, I could feel the suppression. So I was planning and aiming on doing like a, a four to five week short cycle on my bulk and see what it could do, you know. So I just took 10 milligrams per day. That was it, I didn't step it up, I didn't went to 20, I didn't, because I felt I didn't have to. So within the hour after taking my first capsule, I already started seeing the vein on my bicep again. You see this one, this, this is faded, that one came back, you know, like immediately, which is kind of crazy, you know, but all right, it should be fast. Stuff like that works fast, although you won't feel it immediately, stuff works fast. And I must say, I think I've never actually gained as much muscle slash weight on a compound. And then just to think, this is a dry compound. This is a compound for cutting. And I just did the complete opposite. I tried it on my bulk, fairly low dose, 10 milligrams, four to five weeks. My strength was going up. Like for real though, uh, it was because of the food, obviously. Maybe there was more protein synthesis going on, on in my body. Um, I felt great. I just felt great. I just, I gained more size. I gained more fullness. I got more vascular, more hard overall. I felt great. It felt really anabolic. You know, people say YK11 is the closest thing coming to steroids, but I'm not sure about that. I think S23 definitely is that one. And even at the 10 milligram, like I took, I didn't want to look flat overall. So I didn't want to step it up because of that, because you really got to keep up with the food intake. And I was already eating shit loads of food because it's really hard for me to put on more weight. So as the weeks went by and I must say again, I felt really great. It was an overall good experience, good experiment for me. At around week four, I started getting gyno a little bit, you know? I could see it, you know, a little bit fluff in the nipple. One nipple though, um, I've always been a little bit prone and, you know, sensitive to getting gyno, but I'm always there uh, prior to when it really happens, you know? So I uh, I took Novodex, I took it for two days, 
and then I already felt it fade away. It wasn't really, or my t-shirt rubbed over it. It wasn't sensitive or anything like that. So that was good. Just take tamoxifen for a couple of days until it's gone. Um, and then you're good to go. I, I didn't want to run an AI estrogen blocker or whatever for the complete cycle because I do think estrogen is really important on cycle for gaining muscle size, weight, even water. You know, I didn't gain a lot of water, actually almost not not water maybe because of the carbohydrates i was consuming since it was around six to seven hundred grams of carbs a day now people always ask side effects well without a test base is it even possible do you get gyno do you get hair loss stuff like that is it that aggressive like i must say i didn't experience any side effects at all besides the gyno flare i got at around week four to five so again overall great experience i have gained let's say i, I was uh this is in kilograms so you got to calculate it for yourself i'm gonna drop it a lot right below i was 78 kilograms before i started and afterwards i finally hit 90 kilograms which is 200 pounds oh no, no I, I must say you know i gained i went up to 200 pounds during pct so i did the s23 cycle after that i did the nolvidex the clomiphene and the black ox protocol which i always do for aggressive suppression compounds you know stuff like that uh just nolvidex clomiphene black ox and so in total, it was nine weeks. I did it nine weeks. After the nine weeks, I was 200 pounds. My freaking goal, I was really happy because I'm a small dude. I've always been small. 200 pounds was the goal for me. You know, now I lost seven pounds already because I got sick the other week. Uh, I didn't really get to eat the way I wanted to, but you know, everybody takes a loss. But the good thing is I was holding a little bit of water because of the carbs. I lost the water a little bit again now. So it's time to... I don't know, maybe I'm planning on doing a mini cut for a couple of weeks or just get back up again and yo aim for the 225, something like that. I don't know, let's just do crazy. Let me know what your next cycle is going to be or what you want me to experiment with or anything. Just feel free to drop a message on my Instagram. You can call me as well. Go out to fromtheartnation.com and book a phone consult. My sources are there as well. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. Just please subscribe because we just passed one and a half K, which is really awesome within a year. I really appreciate that, guys. So lots of shout out to you, you guys. And that was it for today's video. Like I said, guys, I'm out.